Okay, hey everyone, it's Tomboy Gamer XL here with Let's Play Magical Diary Part 9. Yeah, it's been a long and crazy journey, but I'm back at last. Anywho, last episode we finally went on winter break, thank god. And it, we pretty much didn't do much. We did a lot of wintry things with Donald and crap. And we went on the Panty Raid! You remember that, don't you? Anywho, let's get right into it. Back to school at last. I did enjoy the holidays, but lying around the house doing nothing got boring quickly. Speak for yourself, Annabelle. I mean, seriously, I can lay around the house. Well, then again, she says doing nothing, but granted, I don't do nothing. I play video games, or I watch anime, or I text, or I do something. So maybe never mind. Anywho, and I'm so out of touch with the normal world now that it's hard to find anything else to do. I miss my friends here, and I'm looking forward to seeing them again. Hey, Annabelle. Welcome back. Hi guys, how was your holiday? Fine. It was great. Look, I brought back tons of stuff. She points to her bed, which is stacked with candy boxes and tubes of store-bought cookies. Let me get at least ten of those. That should last me at least a week, right? Ellen sighs. What? Nothing. Come on, what? It's not fair. What's not fair? She eats nothing but j bags of junk and sugar and she's skinny as a twig. I eat healthy food and look at me. Why? You know what, Ellen? You sound like me and one of my friends because I swear to God, we had the same conversation. She's li my friend is like significantly larger than me, and she complains all the time. She's like, "Oh my God, how do you only eat like shit? You only eat like chicken, French fries. You don't you don't eat anything healthy." And I'm like, "I don't." But the difference is, and she's like, "But look at me. I eat I eat nothing but healthy food. Look at me." I'm like, the difference is, I don't eat over, I literally, it's calorie management. So, Ellen's probably may be that she eats a bunch of portions of, well, healthy food. I mean, healthy food still has cal calories. It may not be a lot, but she may eat quite a bit. So her servings may too be too large, and she may be eating a lot more than just three, four meals. Or she's just not exercising, that could be another thing. The same reason my hair is red and yours is that yellow color called blonde but okay I'm just born that way Ellen blows a strand of loose hair out of her face I could dye it it would grow back again you know dye it like dye her hair and dye it as in <laughs> set up a way to lose weight it's true enough but it will grow back again and honestly I've seen at least 70% of people who go on diets get the weight back unless they go on hardcore diets there's nothing wrong with you you don't have to eat salad all the time but I like salad. Then don't worry about it. Who can like salad? Honest to God, I'm not gonna lie. My my diet, if you really ask me, what, my doctor was to approach me and be like, hey, what do you eat during the day? I'm like, uh, you don't need to know that. <laughs> I would literally be like, why do you need to know that? I'd give him a Ron Swanson answer like in 10 seconds. Oh, I almost forgot. This came for you earlier. She hands me a small box wrapped in red paper with the wi with white paper decorations on top. One like a flower and one like an insect. A rose and a wasp! You got a present from somebody? It's probably nothing. Oh yeah, we joined a secret society last episode and it was amazing. I'm not sure I should open it with them watching, but if I act like it's a big secret, they'll be even more curious. Inside the box, I'll find a piece of paper I unfold and read it. Congratulations, Initiate. When you need us, place your request under the fifth rock in the bushes to the left of the main entrance. Flip the rock first over as a signal. Hey, look at that. We are a secret society. As I finish reading the message, the words on the paper fade away. What is it? Uh, thank you, no, from the guy I was helping in gym class. That was really good. I'm proud. I'm proud that we came up with that that quickly. Virginia stretches her arms over her head and yawns. Anyway, I've got stuff to put away, so I'll talk to you guys more later. Don't forget that there's a test at the end of the week. Not even my high school did crap like this. Actually, upon realization, I think we did. Like, we had midterms, but I feel like we were tested maybe by the end of the week. Again, when we came back. I'm upset now. I'm generally upset because I don't even remember half of the stuff I did in this game. Which is why I probably- this should probably be a lesson to me to start playing this game a little more continuously. Because I swear to god, it's January and I'm pretty sure there's only like two more months- three more months of the game. But I'm just too generally stupid to pay attention. Anywho. Don't forget- okay, we already read that. Anywho, friends and friendos, so as far as an update, so... First off, if you remember, my plan initially was to play 
uh, South Park The Fractured But Whole for December. I was going to finish Magical Diary by the end of November, and then that would be my playthrough for December uh, until whenever, or until I felt a new game was out that really it made me rush to finish it so I could get to the game. But as you know, it got delayed, and you know, it wasn't even a small delay. It was literally, okay, what kind of magic do I want to focus on? Let's just do blue, because we're trying to get that out. Also, if you can hear that shaking, there's construction by my house, and unfortunately, it shakes the ho all the houses on the street. Anyhow. So, unfortunately, the fractured but whole has been literally delayed until the very end of the quarter it said it was going to go for. It was saying that it was going to go to quarter one. It was going to be in quarter sometime in quarter one, which we know is January through March. And, of course, when we found out the due date, it literally said, Oh, we're not going to be that type of person. We're going to be literally as lazy and procrastinate as bad as me on an average Tuesday. We're going to give it to you on March 30th. I believe it's March 30th. The very end of the first quarter of 2017. And I was just literally literally shaking my head because I was like even me I wouldn't do that to people because that means people have to wait three months and that's as much as I love South Park the stick of truth it was a great game but it really as short it was short and there was no replay there, the other only replayability was redoing it as different characters and different classes other than that it would get old okay we got something going on the three of us are in our rooms when someone knocks on the door yo urchin Virginia looks at the door then looks at me if that's Donald with a cream pie, I'm not opening it. Fine, I'll get it. Yeah, get up. Go get that door. Yes? Hey, Annabelle. It's good to see you. Is my sister in there? Yeah, she's here. What's up? Logan's doing this thing, and he asked me and Luke to round up people for it. What sort of thing? He's got an idea for how to people to make money. You know I'm in. Can I get in on this? I need money, and I need it now. Mm -hmm. He's got an idea how people can make money. He's going to run a bingo game, so the more people join, the more you could win. <sighs> Here's the thing about bingo. The thing is, it would probably be like, oh, we're all going to put in, like, we all take out a little pebble, and or some kind of, whoever gets bingo first, most likely. And I'm not going to lie, I've played bingo before. I've had, ser I've had to do service hours, and I have seen how little I win in bingo, and I am in no mood for that kind of world. Like, I literally, if I can, if this is random numbers game, then I will save this game until I win. And you know I'm going to do it. So even though some of you are like, no, don't do that, Tomboy Gamer, you want to win honestly. No, I don't. I don't. Bingo. That's right. Are you in? It's five bucks dinner. I'm not playing any game you're running. I'm not running it. Logan is. I'm not sure that's an improvement. Fine. No money for you then, Annabelle. Yeah, let's see. We could be stupid and not play. Or I can play, get the money, get the paper, and move on with life. What we're going to do is we're going to save here. And if we must abuse this, we will abuse it with full-on distinction. Because I am never one to not abuse a random numbers game. Unless it's a game like Dragon Ball Universe where you cannot abuse it. Even if you wanted to. Because the random numbers game is never in your play. Never. Also, thinking about doing that. So, I'm thinking instead of doing the fractured butthole, I think I might substitute that for either Dragon Ball Xenoverse, the original, or number two that came out like maybe a week or two ago. I think it's a week ago. Yeah, I'm feeling a week. Anyhow, um, it won't be anytime soon. I'm on a strict budget, so I'm pretty much certain that I won't be getting Xenoverse 2 anytime soon. But it will be something to substitute for the end of December into January if I don't finish Persona 4, if Persona 4 is done before that. I doubt it, because Persona 4 is a very long game, and I don't play the game nearly as much as I should be. But I feel like that's going to change, but either way. Speaking of Persona 4, probably will give you a video about that either today in conjunction with this episode or tomorrow probably will be today because I'm feeling really really gamerish and when I say that I literally mean I feel like playing an old game instead of just binging Dragon Age Inquisition again alright so let's do this great head over to Falcon Hall I'll be there in a few shortly after arriving in Falcon Hall I see a familiar shock of blue hair hey Luke ah sorry Logan dead Twins, twins are just the weirdest thing, I swear to God. I've never met people who were twins, but I laugh at the situation because I can honestly imagine how peeled I'd be every time someone called me my twin's name. I mean, I get peeled about that with me and my sister, 
and the thing is she is six years older than me but we are so estranged from our like our outer family if you know you you know statistics you know african-american families are usually very large it's usually consisting of the parent the the grandchildren the parent and the grandparents you know it's usually that kind of dynamic going on um, usually it's usually african-american and I believe South American and Latino and Hispanic families follow that trend too but either way we are so estranged from my freaking outer family that they don't even know which one of us is which. And we're six years different. It's not like we're twins. It is. Uh, his only response to my slip is to smile and toss his head, his hair fluffing ever suddenly. So, have you come to play my game? I guess so. There's not a lot of ways to earn money around here anyway. Was there something in particular you were interested in purchasing? I don't know. Why? Oh, no reason. Just curious to see if I could help. No, I'm fine. You are not. You can give me all your frickin' money right now. And why are you not a romanceful option? I mean, the twin cess thing could have gone hilariously well. And why is it every magical, like, every fantasy thing, like, from Percy Jackson to Harry Potter to this game right here, has a set of twins? I mean, seriously, am I the only one who realizes that twins are just now becoming a literal, the most common, a common trope nowadays? Maybe it's just me. Alright, well then, pay the kitty. Oh boy, oh boy. Save the game right here then. Second save is going right here. Alright, let's do this. How's this gonna work? Everyone pays a little in. Then someone lucky takes the jackpot. Simple. Are you playing? No, if I won, someone might think that that was less than fair. I'm calling the numbers. I'll show you when we have more people here. Within a few minutes, Luke, Donald, Jacob, and about five others are gathered in the hallway. Logan brings out a large board game style box, opens it, and begins distributing bingo cards. This cannot go well. It literally cannot go well for me. Anywho. So, also, I kind of just want, I'm, I know I'm talking during this, but I really want to sum up some plans because I really want to. I'm also thinking about applying, I'm, because I'm, uh, I'm applying for a job, uh, one that may take up a lot of time. It's not a, it's like a video editor position. I'm, it may be taking up a lot of time of a lot of my time for videos, so I'm kind of trying to submit some plans so that I can get some better strategies when it comes back to this. Uh, you know me, the, you know Tom. One biggest fact about Tomboy Gamer XL: the way she gets through life is all by making schedules and planning for future events. If I plan for the future, there is nothing that can surprise. Then surprises become a lot easier to manage. The rest of the box is filled with a pile of flat cardboard circles and a strange plastic device that rattles when he picks it up. Why is the freaking globe to get the things out? Wow. Is, is Annabelle stupid? I think Annabelle's stupid. I'm actually convinced. Anyhow, so the plan so far is for the rest of the year is to work on the Persona 4. Hopefully wrap this up by Thanksgiving. This Magical Diary thing needs to be done by Thanksgiving. I'm hoping to God I can get the, that I can pump out those videos quicker. I may even start doing some double up episodes or just keep playing until I get re legitimately bored instead of just stopping after I feel like it's been too long. As for to replace the South Park fractured but whole, it will probably be me playing Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And that wouldn't kill me because I love that game. It's, Xenoverse 1 is hilariously fun and I enjoy it. Anywho, and I know I talked about Persona 5 for February. I can't guarantee it. I really can't because I really my thing is I it's such a bad thing but the game emphasizes you being your own person you being a blank slate and because you're a blank slate in the game it feels awkward playing as a male character Persona 4 3 portable was awesome Persona 4 was a great game but I just there were moments that made it clear that I was male and not anything I was cisgender hetero male it made it obvious I don't know if Persona 5 has a gay option I don't know if Persona 5 has a fem C download coming soon I don't know what that is I probably will end up playing it, but no time soon. When they start announcing port, like the portable ports in like like the literal Vita or portable ports, I'll see how that works out. I don't have a Vita, so here's to hoping that they put it on something I actually have. Anywho, so that's the plan. Um, so really, that's the plan. I don't know how Persona 5 is gonna work out. If it doesn't, then we'll think about it. I'll be thinking of another game. I'll probably end up playing Lucky Rabbit Reflex instead of Persona 5. But eventually, I'll probably end up getting my hands on my grubby claws on that hand, that game. I may even play Luggy Rabbit Reflex earlier than that, since it's one of my favorite games. But, oh, it was one of my favorite games, but I honestly, God, I don't even remember half of it. Anywho, let's get this going. And see how quickly I can freaking lose money. 
Alright, 100% mechanical and campus legal. I checked. Take a handful of covers, you'll need them. Is everyone paid up? Sorry. Chewing gum at the same time, so if you really notice that my speech doesn't sound normal, that's why. But gum is delicious, and I'm not willing to give it up. The money is counted out in, uh, into the empty box top on Luke's lap. Since he's not playing either, I pick up some bits of cardboard ready to cover my squares if they are, and their numbers are called. Logan rotates the top half of the plastic device. It makes a clattering sound as it turns, and then a black disc slides out of a hole and into his hand. You know what? Just in case, I actually would rather... S I don't know when the money is taken is when it happens, but you know what? Right here. If not, we'll go back further. And yes, we're going to abuse this because we need money. You see this. We have $16. That is insane. B2. He calls number after number and the pattern grows across us. Of course, in the end, it's not me who yells bingo. Ah, uh -uh, it's about to be you. And yes, we're seriously doing this. We will cheat the system. In 43, uh, of course, in the end. I want to see the random, na name, the n random number game's probability. So there's two losses. We're going to keep doing this. If I must, I'll skip it. So you, if by the fourth, the, actually by the fifth one we don't get it, I'm just going to cut out that until we get it. Because we're not losing $5 out of stupidity. <gasps> we got it, we got it, we got it. Bingo, bingo. <laughs> save the game, save the game, save the game. Save, save, save. Congratulations. I collect my jackpot. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. How many people were playing? Alright, so hold on. Let me rewind back. We went... We got forty dollars. So that means eight people, including me, were playing. Good lord, that's amazing. I collect my jackpot. I can't believe I won. The other players look annoyed. Um, is that it? It does seem this does seem to be a problem with the winner takes all approach. Something different next time, maybe. If there is a next time, oh, there will be, and we're gonna abuse it again. All right, we gained two black magic. We didn't learn a single thing. And I guess that's good for me to talk over, but I'm just kind of disappointed that we learned. Oh, see, look at this game. Every time I'm like, screw this game, it's playing with my emotions. It literally comes out the cut and says, nah, we're not going to do that to you. Eh, while we're in the dungeon, I actually wanted to talk about. <laughs> so, I have tried, okay, you already know this game. You already know this game. Jesus Christ, it's loud though. It's so loud at that one part. I've re-listened to. I hope you didn't hear that. It's just... Anywho. Um, let me mute Magical Diary really quickly, because it's incredibly loud. So I'm going to lower it down. Anywho. So we know this um, balling game, so I'm going to talk to you guys about something in particular. To pass this test, you must reach the exit safely, but be warned you're not alone. Oh, goody. How are we not alone? <sighs> Anywho, if we're not alone, I don't want to waste any magic. You know me, I say before the dungeon, just in case I literally fail like a motherfucker. Anyhow, so, during the summer, I decided to be, I decided that just watching one live action show was not going to work for me. I decided that it was time to actually watch some more live action shows and start to accept them for what they are. But, oh my god, what the, there is a hodag? Why in God's name is a hodag? Open the spell book. Open the spell book. I hope it does not attack while I'm doing this. Oh my God. Oh my God. We need something. I could teleport and get it out of my way. But is there a way to like... There needs to be something I have better than that. I don't have anything better than that. Because all I have is blue spells. And all they do is transform people. So of course I have nothing better to do. Darkness. Teleport other. Teleport self. Dispersion. Is there a way I can just like... Knock him out. Dispel. Televoke. Trigger. Simple. No. Disruption. No. No. I could use cloak, but that's a lot in the event that he catches up with me. So how about we just teleport this hodag all the way to the beginning? Beautiful. Anywho, so I finally decided to watch The Walking Dead. Many of you may sigh in anger. Many of you may sigh in relief or pat me on the back. I don't know. Anyway, I finally decided to watch it, and it's a pretty good show. It's not as hyped as people make. It's not as great as people make. I won't lie to you and say that it is. But it's a good show for what it is. It does pretty well with the premise of how to people, of being less about just the zombies and more about what goes on, how do you survive in a world that's gone, 
when more when everything it's kind of like what I expected from um, Lord of the Flies it's kind of like a Lord of the Flies based thing it's not really that they're shipwrecked it's more about how these kids deal with life after they've been abandoned on an island without morals or government and it was a pretty it's a pretty good show like that all right we went we won and she's gonna say the same freaking thing she says every time anywho oh wow we got an extra five another five merits for achieving your goal without violence oh if we didn't beat if we had beaten it up we could have beaten it up but we don't have any attack spells as far as i'm concerned i think red magic is the attack which sucks because we could have usually when i go for a game i'm never the healer i'm always the tank usually if I'm not the ta if I'm not either the speedy attacker, I'm the tank. It's very rarely. So that's that's sad that I didn't do that. But it seems like this was just because I wanted to go with my favorite color and I ended up picking that anyway. Any hoosies. So it's a good what I'm pretty much saying is it's a good thing. And as you know, two weeks ago the season seven one premiere finally came out answering to its cliffhanger. And yeah, I honestly understand why people were so pissy about the cliffhanger. I can't say I wasn't a little bit like this is not the eighties anymore. This is not when we were watching like Dallas and crap like that. We're in a legitimate time where cliffhangers are just a cheap marketing can are seen as cheap marketing ploys to get people. And you know what? Honestly, with the character that died in the season 7 premiere, I was generally kind of thrown off because I kind of, this show emphasized the idea that it was different from, uh, let's go to the magic store. It emphasized the idea that it was different from its comic predecessors, that it wasn't going to be like a manga to big screen thing. It was going to be different to try and throw people off. But it ended up being exactly like the comic, and I literally could come up with like, ten, I came up with a bunch of different things that the show could have done. Um, that would have been interesting and would have had the show really ooh 30 black magic holy shit get that shit anyway i came up with like a bunch of different things that the show could have done if they had killed off different characters from the one they killed and they from the one they killed in season seven for um premiere and i was so genuinely upset with that Bec maybe i'm not upset about it because of who they killed i'm upset because of the execution and if they had chosen different character then it could have been so much they could have done with it. They could have really established that they were different from the comic, that they weren't going to just go the stereotypical route. And well, yes, Robert Kirkman explains why the characters were chosen. Um, it still felt like such a kick in the... It just felt like a kick in the metaphorical balls, not to see them try to be different from the, co the comic book. Not to see them try to do something different and see how that works out. Mm. But enough about The Walking Dead. I know some people are not fans of The Walking Dead, and I know some people are. But comment below if that's what you if you have any comments about the season seven premiere. It's been two weeks, so you've had time to recover from what happened. I thought it was a pretty good one. It did very well in establishing itself as a psychological thriller. It really made me feel empathize the way or feel like the characters, like Negan's big boss business. I don't know what to do now. So it was, it was a really good episode, uh, and I'm, I think it's enough talk about CWD. If we give, if we have nothing going on in the game, I'll probably bring it back up. But for now, let's talk about the sports club. Okay, today is the first sports club meeting of the spring semester. We're playing soccer, but with a twist. You can move the ball by kicking it with your foot, or you can push it with your mind, since it's an easy spell that almost everyone can do. Only single sharp pushes are allowed. No controlling the ball for the upperclassmen. But if you have, you, but if you use magic, you need a line of sight on the ball, and you have to hold still while casting. That means if people who don't have the ball run around wildly, they can disrupt anyone trying to move the ball by magic. It makes the game more frantic and paranoid because you have to watch everybody, not just the people near the ball. It also is a power increase for the goalie who can easily stand still for a moment to change the ball's direction, even from halfway across the room if it's not guarded well. Getting past that thing in that getting past that into the net is no easy task. My brain would have imploded before this actually worked. Like, literally, imploded until to this day. I don't know why they made you join the sports club. Should have been the more, should have been a bigger thing than where they're like, oh, you can join the sports club or you can join these clubs. But hey, Hanukkah games never, most of their games, the Hanukkah games has done, hasn't really had that kind of big sense of it. But I haven't played their games since Magical Diary, so I haven't touched Long Live the Queen or, there was a recent game they advertised on their newsletter, so it's been a while. Sorry, readjusting the gum. Anyway, everyone seems to be having a good time except Kyo. He's still playing the game. You know, he just doesn't look happy about it. When we finished for the day, he skulks off before I can ask him what's the matter. Wee! That was great, wasn't it? 
It's good to be back. So you're not upset anymore about the sports and magic thing? Yeah, it's all good. Cool. Well, something tells me there's something... Like, remember Donald mentioned something about the Olympics? Something tells me there's more to the reason she doesn't like that. And something tells... No, 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 keep that on. Something... Okay, why do I keep clicking on things that I know I have to keep on? Put it on. Ew! I thought I would look a little more impactful. Alright, so we can stop doing black magic soon. Anywho. Let's go ahead and save again. I'm being a compulsive saver. I mean, literally, GameFAQ's question of the day was all about... <laughs> Do you have a compulsive need to save? And it's hilarious. How's my diary looking? We got push, push, shocker, blah, 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 blah. Bingo night. Christmas, Christmas. How many of you can actually believe that it is about eight weeks till Christmas? For some people, this may be different. You may live in a different nationality, or you may not celebrate Christmas or something. But can you believe 2016 is almost over? It honestly felt like 2016 went by so crazily fast that I can't even deal with it. Alright, let's go ahead and get the black magic by doing that, 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 that. It should be three. If it's not, we'll do one to him next week. And to replace that, let's start working on red magic. Or actually, let's sleep because we've done really good. Anywho, let's keep this going. I can't believe the year is almost over. Son of a bitch. They did that on purpose. Diamond. Make an object highly resistant to damage for a brief time. Am I the object that I can make? Okay, I run into Donald in the halls. Hey, Annabelle, I was looking for you. Want to go on an adventure? What sort of adventure? I found the passage down into one of the junior dungeons. I want to go look around. Is it safe? You're not scared, are you? Of course not. Then come on. Yeah, let's do it. Adventure we are going. Donald guides me through a hidden door down a flight of stairs and into a narrow stone corridor. But instead of opening into a maze, it ends in another staircase leading further down. How deep down these dungeons go? I don't know yet. Do you mean in this one in particular, or all the dungeons in total? Either way, it wouldn't be much of an adventure if we knew where we were going, right? Well, in terms of Rugrats, no. I guess not. I haven't seen candles like this in our exam. They're only half real. They burn themselves, but nothing else. They don't use up air. Probably a good thing since this is a dark corridor where you need some freaking air to breathe, so them candles taking up all the air would not be appropriate. It's probably safe underground. Exactly, but it looks so much nicer with the candles. Yes, YouTube, I think candles make everything beautiful. We proceed down the stairs and into a vast open room lined with more of the effect. Oh god. You know. Whenever I encounter words like ephedral or ethereal, I always stop and I mess up and I go, wait a minute, you know the word. Okay. With more of the ethereal, um, candles. I hate when I stop on words or mess up on advanced words that I know. Creepy. I don't know, maybe we should hold, dan hold dances down here instead of the school gym. There's plenty of space. I wonder what the juniors were down doing down here. I don't see any puzzles. Oh yeah, you know, I hear juniors and I think, like, my... I literally think of Kohai or Senpai, but then I realize, no, they mean literal juniors, like sophomore, junior, senior. Something that really evades my mind sometimes. All cleaned up by now, I'm sure. But what if they're not? This is a dungeon meant for students far more advanced than we are. It could be lined with traps. Maybe we should go back up. There's nothing interesting down here. Oh, come on, we haven't looked around. Maybe there's some treasure. That would actually be hilarious if there was a treasure box down here, and I'd literally loot it so quickly. Why would, be, why would there be treasure? These tests are all based on the labyrinths that exist in the other world. A treasure is why people explore them in the first place, so it's not... Did you hear that? I hear this really fanciful music, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> Holy crap! All of a sudden, the lights go out. You see, they got me that time. They got me that time. Because it wasn't exa- and the game knew. The game knew. <laughs> The game knew that I would be freaked out by that. And literally go, what the? They knew that. And they did it on purpose to make me want to kill somebody with my bare hands. And that's why I don't play a lot of horror games, folks. Because when crap like that happens, I literally want to break remotes in my bare hands because I got scared. Yeah, it's a pride thing. That's probably why haunted houses are never a good idea for me. Because then I start, bo I start boxing. Donald, there's no answer. I'm alone, trapped underground in the complete blackness. As if. <laughs> I forgot I had a light spell. <laughs> I 
Annabelle's smarter than I am. Let me be like, hey, anybody got matches? <laughs> Let me be like, wait a minute. I got magic. What am I doing? And it would take like 20 minutes for me to realize that and go, okay, let me light a match. And I'll be looking for matches and be like, somebody got matches over here. I know they do. And they'll be like, wait a minute. I'm alone. I'll be the dumb one. <laughs> That's why people couldn't take me on adventures. That's why when people are like, can you imagine yourself in an anime or The Walking Dead or something like that? Or Supernatural. I'm like, nah. I'll be the dumb fool who keep getting people killed because they're not thinking things through. Alright, I cast a light spell, bringing the room back into visibility. Although the weird candles are now gone, Donald sees the look on my face and starts laughing. You know what? Curse you, boy, because I bet it was you. You little turnip. I didn't do it. Sure you didn't. Suddenly another form appears in the dungeon. It was me. Oh, ha ha. Don't worry. We're, we were never going to leave you down here. That would be mean. You bet you wouldn't cry. And I'm not crying. So boom. Give him the money. Of course she wouldn't. Annabelle's a horse. This was a bet. That's true, I am a horse, but the fact that when you say horse, she's a horse. <laughs> you just have to go, yeah. are you saying I'm big as a horse? Are you saying I'm muscular like a horse? Are you saying that I got a long mane like a horse? I swear, there's so many analogies you can go with with a horse, so I'm just like, what are you saying? Only sort of. Mm. Sorry, I got stuck in the roof of my mouth. Sorry about that. Only sort of. I did think it would be cool to show you some of the hidden places in the school. There's a lot to see, you know. But me and Luke came down here first to check it out. Ugh, I rolled my eyes. Well, if you're both done being comedians, now maybe we could head get back upstairs. Yeah, we should, uh... Where did the exit go? Oh, come on. I'm serious. I turn around, but there's no sign of the stairs we came... Oh, God. <sighs> I should have thought this through. I should have thought this through. This, this is how... This... See, and I swear to God, maybe that's why I'm so cautious in real life, because all my characters, whenever I have a character that's like created a character or has a personality and they start getting into trouble, I'm like, see, this is why. This is why I'm so cautious in life, because my characters show me the different paths of cruel craziness that could become of my life. I turn around, but there's no sign of the stairs we came down. I invoke true sight, but I can't see any illusions. How is that possible? Have we stepped into an upper level trap? Out <laughs> Holy. <laughs> My heart stopped. <laughs> okay, I don't think this game has game over, so we're good. At least I'm certain we're good. A distant growl makes Luke jump. Go jump. What's going on? <laughs> Wherever you are, stay back. Don't worry, Annabelle. I'll definitely protect you. I don't need your protection, but then again, I ain't got no offense. I'm <laughs> mostly defense. <laughs> so for some awful reason. I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> I had to think about that. I was like, ain't got no offense. It's a, she says, and I'll protect you. And I'm like, wait a minute. Ain't got no offense. Nothing but blue spells and black spells to save me, Jesus. I ain't ready. I ain't ready to go down like that. <laughs> I was about to literally start playing some Tupac Shakur in there and be like, uh-uh-uh-uh. Get out, get out. You don't want none of this. But in truth, he wants all of it. Okay, from somewhere in the empty space, we hear the uh, we hear the slow the sound of slow sarcastic clapping. Grabbing her, anybody? Yep, it's this douche. Hmm. Wonder if I can get fired from the position for being in places I don't need to be. Gentlemen and Miss Freeman, poking around where you don't belong. Is there an actual school rule about exploring dungeons after hours? There is now. <coughs> Demerits and detention on Saturday for each. Ten demerits and detention on Saturday for each of you. Ha! I got 20 demerits anyway. Suck it. If you'll follow me, I'll show you the way out. Screw you! See, this is why. When people ask me why I don't get in trouble or get detentions in real life, that's why. Because I get them in my video games. Because I don't think things through. <sighs> As I'm walking through the halls, I, got, I spot some very distinctive figures in the distance. It's Jesus Christ. <laughs> Didn't mean to say that. It's not Jesus Christ. I mean to say. <laughs> but these are some big A wings they got, bro. Any, any whoosies. As you can see, we have Pastel and Damien. The fairy girl has her arms twined around his neck and smiling up at him. Well, Virginia did say that Pastel flirts with everything. Hey, she has my amulet. No, I look at that. I decided to go the long way around. LOL. Let me take this gum out of my mouth. This is not making anything easy. I encounter Professor Grabner in the in the hallway. Good morning, Professor. Miss Freeman. I 
I may have spoken in haste, sir. I believed you to be an equal partner in Mr. Danson's attention-seeking behavior. He has seen, he has since informed me that you are not attempting to attract punishment on Monday evening. Is this true? Well, of course I wasn't trying to get in trouble. Why would you ask that? Oh, Donald Wright. Since your adventure was apparently not in action designed solely to annoy me, I'm returning the ten merits I took from you earlier. The, ten the detention still stands. It was an obviously foolish thing to do. Yes, sir. Good day, Miss Freeman. Hey, got my merits back. He walks off down the hallway. So, Donald went and argued with Grabby on my behalf? I hope he didn't get himself into more trouble. I hope so too. I hate when people get themselves in trouble for me. Although it doesn't happen rarely. Usually it's me getting in trouble for other people. But oh well. <sighs> Alright, we're well rested. Let's go to detention. I love detention. Because I don't go to detention. Get in there and serve detention. Detention is good for everybody. Detention, detention! Okay, got some emails on Tekken 7 Beta Retribution. Didn't talk about that. Don't know when that's coming out. All I know is that it's supposed to come out in 2017. And sometime before court. So, so, the only thing I know is that it comes out in early 2017. That's all I got. <laughs> I don't know when Tekken Re Fated Retribution comes out. All I can say is that once it comes out, my school, my college can expect me not to be there for at least two weeks. Until I get every single character's ending. <sighs> until then, I don't know what to do. I, today won't see me at all. Anywho, I catch up with Donald in the hallway outside the detention room. Hey, thanks for trying to get me out of this. No problem, sorry it didn't really work. I mean, we played a prank on you. You shouldn't really be the one in trouble. But I did go off to, <laughs> off to explore restricted areas with you. Yeah, but if you'd done that on your own, you probably would have just gotten off of the warning. Being with us makes you look bad. <laughs> Whatever, I'm not a complete innocent. Well, good. Come on, Luke's already inside. Dude... I get in trouble, but to be honest with you, I don't like people starting to make me out to see. I don't. I may not be the one who gets into detention and all that crap, but I hate when people make try to when I people try to say, "Oh, we didn't want you to get in trouble. You don't seem like the person who see. You don't seem like the person that gets in trouble all the time." Now, that's definitely not true. Definitely, I don't get in trouble because I have no reason to get in trouble. But if I feel the need for a little anarchy, believe me, you will get anarchy. Once again, you insist on disrupting my weekend. Perhaps this not, does not occur to you, Mr. Danson, but some of us have better things to do with our time. I do not intend to spend my day staring over your shoulders. Then don't give detentions! I mean, seriously. Teachers do it in TV shows. Why can't teachers do this in real life? I, mean, well, I hate when parents or adults are like, I shouldn't have to do this. And I'm like, you don't. I literally look people in the eye and I'm like, you really don't. If you don't want to, if you think that you shouldn't have to do it, don't do it. I swear I won't ever use that phrase with my kids when I'm punishing them. I will never use that phrase. Because literally, because if my kid has my sharp wit, they will certainly use that on me and I will backhand them. So, oh, no, we're not going to talk about it. But either way. Uh, let's see. Next door, I will be conducting delicate magical experiments with denizens of the other world, carefully bound and warded. But these wards protect me and me alone. If you cross the wards in an attempt to disturb me, you will die a slow and agonizing death. And my schedule will no longer be interrupted by your nonsense. Looking him in the eye, I get the impression that he's not kidding. That's a good thing. Um, what are we supposed to do? I don't care. Sit here, read a book, don't cause trouble, don't leave the room. Great. He leaves us alone. Alright, with magic, I am occupied. Who brought cards? Anybody? Hey, should we spy on what he's doing? No way. Come on, you gotta be curious. Not curious enough to get my nose bitten off. If he's telling the truth, it would be stupid. If he's lying, he'd probably set up a trap. We peek, we get caught, something humiliating happened. It's too obvious. I guess. Hey, maybe we should, like, set up a giant whoopee cushion. Only invisible and with an illusion of his chair over his chair. So when he tries to sit down, he falls over and lands with a splat. He's too on the ball for that. Well, what do you want to do to him? Donald shrugs. I don't know. Nothing, really. Come on, you don't want to sit around here all day thinking about grabbing him, do you? Well, no. There's bound to be something interesting in all these cabinets. We start looking around for anything worth killing time with. There are plenty of books as mentioned, and I set a few aside that look less boring. I'm not a bookworm, but I'd much rather read than stare in his face. Speak for yourself, I can daydream like crazy. Remember that really weird mo child's movie, Sh um, Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Yeah, that's pretty much my life. I can literally daydream at will, randomly. And that's literally how I make it through college. People ask me how I make it through long lectures, it's called daydreaming. <laughs> It don't help with the grades, but it definitely gets you through the time. Hmm, what's this? On top of a stack of loose papers, I find a page covered in cartoon st strip-style drawings. I wonder who drew them. 
Is Professor is Professor Gravner a secret artist? Probably not. I keep digging. I've got some rubber bands and pencils and a ruler. I found a box of tacks. I found a coloring book and some crayons. A coloring book? That's for babies. Crayons? We should do something with those. You want a color? No, it's wax. You can melt them. Is that safe? I think crayons melt easier than real candle wax, but yeah, we probably shouldn't be doing fi big fire spells in here. We could put tacks on the seat. Uh, I know, it's tacky. You know what? I beat you. <laughs> Corny jokes. Whenever people crack them, I just look them in the eye and I'm like, I could, I'm like 10 minutes from beating you with my own back, with the back of my hand. Bruh, that was not funny. With these rubber bands and all, maybe we can build something like a catapult. Do you know how to do that? No, got any better ideas. So we spend the afternoon fooling around with random pieces of junk and end up having a fairly good time. Not bad for a detention. You know, dude, I've seen much more boring detentions. Be very happy you didn't get bored. To the next week, because I don't think we did much of anything. I'm out of bed, washed, and dressed before I remember the date. Do we have class today? For King Day? No. You know, I always forget Martin Luther King Day. Always. It always literally sneaks up on me and smacks me across the face. And when you're in college, no one cares. But then again, when you're in college, you're still not back for Martin Luther King Day. Usually, you're out of school. <laughs> Maybe you're still out of school. I know I will be. We don't go back till February. But I probably, on King Day, I might have winter classes. Now that I think about it. Crap. That just ruined my mood. Because I realized that I might have to work that day. So that's a wizard holiday? No, he wasn't a wizard if that's what you're asking. It's easy for wizards to forget when things are bad because we can walk away. If you got no magic and you have to take a stand, that's brave. Well, to be honest with you, Virginia, you're black. You can't step away from this situation, even if you wanted to. Ellen, on the other hand, can, you know, I hate to make this race related. It really, if there's one thing that Smith the Great Pumpkin just went off. I'm not supposed to talk about religion, politics, or the Great Pumpkin, but I'm easily going to slip race into the world of the Great Pumpkin. Are we supposed to do anything special? Nah, it's just a day off. Back to bed. After a lazy morning, we all went out for the day. I didn't have anything particu in particular in my mind, so I'm just wandering around. Annabelle, wait up. Hi, Donald. What you up to? Looking for you. That silly music always happens, and I swear to death that it's always a sign of something crazy is about to happen. Want to earn some merits? Well, I'm not doing anything, so I guess. What do we have to do? Dust the halls. Isn't there a spell for that? Well, you could blow dust around, but that doesn't make it clean. And targeting each speck of dust uses too much energy. There are clean mannequins, but they're not very bright, so you have to check up on them. Or, well, we do. Right, do we get feather dusters? Nope, rags. Oh my god, that's an easy way to get stress back on me. I wonder if it's that, un if that's usual, or if the professors are afraid he'll get, he'd get up to something. What could you do with a feather duster? Animate it? Wear it as a tail? Tickle someone? I take the rag and decide not to ask. We go around the schools and wiping down the walls, door frames, and window sills. Other students pass us by, chattering about this and that, and pay no attention to what we're doing. Being a cleaner is almost as good as an invisibility spell. Ooh, there's a big spider web on the ceiling up there. Are there any spiders? We both stare up at it. I don't think so. Looks dirty. It's probably old. I stand on my tiptoes and swipe at it, but I can't quite reach it. I'm not tall enough. Welcome to my nightmare. It's literally my private chain. When people are like, do you feel... Like, I used to tower over my two best friends. Um, Zane DeKaiser and Kyle the Wild. I used to tower over them. Now, they tower over me and I die. It, it literally kills me. I don't know what to make of it anymore. <laughs> But nowadays, when people ask me how I feel about my height, I'm like, I used to be a god. Now look at me. <laughs> Anywho. Here, let me help. What? He takes hold of me and lifts me up. Can you reach it now? Yep. I quickly wipe away the webs. Put me down. <laughs> Donald sets me back on the floor. He's stronger than he looks, and you don't always get a clear sense of the muscle guys have under those robes. Dude, he looks lanky. I mean, look at the neck. I mean, look at a picture of Vegeta. And look at his muscles and how they bulge on his freaking neck. I usually use the neck bones to tell. Even if you wear like a bunch of cloth, I look at your neck and that's usually how I can be like, from the way your neck looks, that's how muscular you are. It might not be the most accurate protection, but you know, it's never failed me. You okay? I'm fine. Perfectly fine. I knew it! <laughs> we continue working until finally Professor Pat's damn works. Thank you, my little bees. Ten merits for each of you. 
She waves and goes on her way. Nam looks down at the floor and kicks one foot back and forth. Anyway, I guess I should go. Gotta figure out how I'm gonna earn this week's detention. Do you have to get detention every week? I have a reputation to maintain. I'm pretty sure you already got that re reputation. Yeah, well, what else would I do with my Saturdays? Go to the mall like everyone else? Is it any good? You haven't been? At all? I had a reputation to build. Dead. This man has been going to... Ah. When do we come to school? We come in, what, September? It's like four weeks default for each month. Think about that. September, October, November, December. For f literally four months, 16, 16 of his Saturdays have been wasted. I cannot imagine that kind of hell. Well then, we should go. If you can stay out of trouble for one week, maybe we'll see. Uh, the fact that he's not entirely certain whether he can stay out of trouble is pretty sad in, its, in itself. Ugh, God. I can't feel my back for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Anywho, what should we do for the week? Well, let's get that one black magic, because it wants to be the stubborn whore that it is. Now let's do it. We're almost done, and we might do red magic next. Oh, we got black mastery. <sighs> Creates a passage in the desired direction. Cost depends upon amount dug. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I don't even know if I'll ever use that. That might be my only valid complaint with this game. A lot of the spells you see are just not going to be useful. Or at least they don't seem to be useful. Maybe they are in the end of the game. But for now, most of the spells don't have an intended purpose. Most of them just look cute. Or maybe I've, I've wait, uh, when you're in different game paths, maybe that's when they're more useful. I don't know. Alright, hold on, hold on. I see a light in the room up ahead. Someone must be in the there already. Professor Pro Probably grabbing her, unless Minnie needed something. I head into the room. Oh my god, why is it purple in here? I find a scene I didn't expect. Professor Grabiner is lying on the floor, unmoving. The floor itself is marked with circles and swirling lines and symbols that look like letters, but not in a language I can read. And hovering above him is a menacing blue spirit with horns. And just like that, looks like a genie. I'm out of here. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. <sighs> Run away, little girl. This meat is mine, and I intend to feast. Crap. Go get help, because we do not know what horrors lie in this. We're going to go get help. If that thing can take out our professor, I can't face it on my own. Gotta go get help. Go, 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 go. Rush out of the hallway. And nearly collide with Professor Patsan. A monster's got Professor Gravener. Yes, I know. Wait here. I love the way she looks. Kind of like, it's not the seventh time he's done this. Probably the 50th. Let me do this. Alright. I can't even hear anything in there. What's going on? I could leave, but I haven't picked up the mail yet. <laughs> it's always duties. Always the duties that kill me. Finally, I knock on the door. Everything alright in there? Come on in. Oh, God. Oh, look at all this happiness. Disgust me. Literally. When I return to the room, I find that Professor Grabner is back on his feet and looks completely unharmed. There is no sign of the spirit or the strange symbol on the floor. They are all better now. Hmm. He walks away without a word. He does so hate for anyone to see him make a mistake. What happened? Nothing you need to worry about, Poppet. Wait, Poppet or Poppet? What did- no. no, no, no. He lost control of the spell, that's all. He was perfectly safe, but he shouldn't have been trying such a thing out here. I wouldn't advise you to tell him that, though. Oh, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna rub it in his face. Because there's nothing better than rubbing stuff in the face of your teachers. So everything's okay? Yeah, it is for now. Five merits for your quick thinking and coming for help instead of making matters worse. I can only imagine the horrors of what would have happened if I helped him. I don't feel like this was a, you win if you do that, you win if you don't do that. I feel like this was literally, I fail no matter what. Have a good day. She leaves me to my usual work of sorting through the mail. Ugh, this is how I end up life craptastic. Think I'll lie down for a bit and relax before it's time to go out. It occurs to me that I haven't talked to Donald in a few days, and he didn't exactly promise. I'd better check they were still on. So I knock on the door and wait. Annabelle, what you doing here? Looking for Donald. Isn't he with you? No, should he be? He said you were going to the mall. I'd better get moving then. Yeah, whatever. See you later. Bye, best friend. Huh. <sighs> Let me go look for this boy. Go, 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 go. 
I didn't read any of that, and I'm sad I didn't. When I finally catch up to the mall, he's just standing there. Hi. There you are. Sorry I made you wait. I missed the first vans because I was went looking for you. No problem. I should have caught you yesterday to figure out what we were doing. Ah, uh, don't worry, Donald. That's my life in a nutshell. I don't do anything. I don't think anything. So, uh, what do we do now? What do you want to do? I don't know. What is there? Is there a pet store? We could look at a fish. Please. Who wants to look at a fish? No, there's no pet shop. So what is there? I hope you don't expect me to look at shoes. <laughs> even if I wanted to, I don't even look at my own shoes. I just buy them depending on whether or not they fit. Because that's just how lazy I am. Not even if they've got really big cleats? Nope. There's toys, there's sports gear, there's books, there's music, there's TV, there's an arcade, you might like that. Okay, let's go there. Good, you know, see, I picked the person, I picked the right person. I'm noticing that I'm getting a lot of Donald stuff. Like, no one else is popping up. I'm starting to think that there were no other people other than Damien. And maybe Professor Grabbiner, I'm not entirely certain. Maybe, I feel like I talked about this in a previous episode, but I don't remember. I led Donald to the arcade and showed him around, pointing out the evil claw grabber at and all the pinball machines. Are you a pinball wizard? Not yet. I ought to learn. What do you mean ought to? Well, if I want to compete, it's supposed to be good practice. There's a pinball competition? No, Bounders. What are Bounders? It's sort of a half magical duel, half ultimate game. And the best way to win is to find cheats that there aren't rules for yet. Like when Marine... Marina Zuzui ate the spear and then couldn't call the match until it came back out. I don't even, I don't even know. I'm, I'm speechless over what that, the implications of that. The Zuzui delay is now against the rules. Oh, thank God. Because <laughs> what a horrible way. And it's the girl who just ruined her mouth and called it a day. That's actually a good idea at the same time. If I had to win the game like that, that'd be hilarious. So anyway, pinball training might make people too predictable. So, do you want to play pinball or not? You pick. I'll play whatever you do. We're not doing that. I'm not wasting my life. I could play this all day. I could not play that all day. Let's see, which one would give me the most bang for my buck? Because you know what? I'm loving the idea of prize tickets. Even though I shouldn't waste my money like that. Let's race. It's a lot easier. Alright. Put in the colors, wrap up the engines. I got a close match, but I win. I always win. A <laughs> good game. I wonder if this is enough, like, real race cars for Jamal. Probably not. At some arcades, they have bike racers that really tip if you go around corners and stuff. But I'm not sure they do those in two-player. You might just bump into each other. I'd do it anyway. Shall we go again? Oh, yes, we will. Five dollars gone. Oh. This is why I don't go to the arcade. This is why I don't go to the arcade. So, what else would you like to do? Should we go to the food court? There's shopping stuff. Shopping I should do because I'm here. Oh, it's William's birthday next week. Is it really? Oh, cool. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. He looks around briefly and then looks... Well, that threw me off. So William likes trains? Not really. Not that I know. What does he like? How should I know? We used to play with train sets when we were kids. But I don't know what he's into now. That's the point. He doesn't talk to me. He's got no idea who I am anymore. He doesn't understand. I guess having siblings is more complicated than I thought. Not really. The fact of the matter is they just have a broken family as a result of Virginia. Most likely a result of literally middle family syndrome. Like literally. Miracle that the Milton that the Ninja Turtles never had that problem. At least I don't think they ever had that problem. I should really get back into TMT 2012. I used to watch that show religiously. Now I don't even touch it. Yeah, well, nothing's perfect. He looks at me and then looks away. Look, Annabelle, I was wondering. Yes. Never mind. Okay. I love the blush that was on your face. I am so appreciative of that. Also, I'm thinking about playing Toki Making Memorial Girl Side 3. At first I wanted to play it on my computer, but then I was like, why don't I just play it from my PSP? And then I was like, oh god, do I really want to find, find out how to link it up to the screen? No, I don't. It's a long, complicated matters. And to be honest with you, I'd love to play Persona 3 Portable for you guys. 
even though I've played it several times, I feel like a lot of people would like to see me play it, but it's been so long, so Lindsay don't know how, Tomboy Gamer XL don't know how, she won't do that. Anywho, he goes to pay for his book, then winks at me. Race you to the food court. Whoa, 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 you come back here. He said that we're not supposed to run, please. My school used to emphasize we're not supposed to run in the hallways, but teachers would chase you if you were not in class, and they and you told them you were skipping class. And yes, there were people who told them that they were skipping class. When you're a senior in my school, you can just literally say you have senior <laughs> the se you used to have like the senior period, the senior study period, which is pretty much the time period when no one cares. As long as you're somewhere, no one cares where you are. All right. Let's see, we're so dangerously close to the edge. Like, literally, we're on February. I don't know if anything important is going to happen, but honestly, I feel like this part of the game is mostly about establishing relationships, because so far, that's been all we've got. Uh, let's focus on some red magic, because quite frankly, I'm a little insulted that we have none. But do I, should I want, do I want to play with the animals? Or do I want to be an offensive? So I feel like green magic is healing, and I'm not a mage. I have never been the mage person. I've always, uh, I just said that earlier. I'm always a tank. And white magic is probably just insanity magic, as I like to call it. So, red, blue, red, blue. Boom. Three, please. Fine, I'll take it. This game is always conspiring against me. Did you hear? Hear what? I heard Kill got down on his knees in the middle. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I saw one word. I saw serenaded and cried. And he can't even sing? Oh, God. I don't know what to make of that. I just don't know what to make of that. Like, I'd literally smack him and be like, boy, you can't sing. No. I, I passed out a little bit. And because of that, I don't. I mean, what is wrong with people? Serenading? And you can't sing? What in God's name? Oh, that's cute. Ellen, get it together. That's not cute. Find me Minnie and pull her aside because I'm generally concerned about those two. I've never in my day. Ooh, we learned to push object. Okay, this is why I didn't touch red magic. Push object. What the? Every time. This game never fails to make me question the meaning of life. What is the point of doing this if I get crap like this? Shove a target one square in the direction of indicated. Oh wait, hold on. I got warm. I can add heat to someone. <sighs> God. Help me. Lower. <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Yawning. Wake up suddenly in the middle of the night. I'm not sure why, but I thought I heard something. Someone speak? Wait a few seconds, but I don't hear anything. But Virginia's snoring. Back to sleep then. I'm getting three magics in the red, but I'm not getting jack and blue. Crazy. Oh, thank you. Next week, we gotta do three blues and pray that it worked. Hey, it's Raven. Ooh, do I finally get to talk to her? Cause I was... I wish you could have picked what hall you wanted to be in, like, sort, like the sorting hat or something like that. Cause I would have killed. Literally. Killed. To have been able to be a snake. Raven is walking slowly across along the hallway, staring up at the ceiling, talking to herself. To be or not to be, that is the question. Are you alright? What? What is it? What do you want? You sounded sad. Is everything okay? I am rehearsing. Surely you are familiar with the works of the Bard. Sorry. Okay, Annabelle. Okay, Annabelle. You're sore. You've disappointed me. How are you? We're doing this again this moment where I have to sit back and wonder what the meaning of life is when somebody doesn't know who the... Oh <sighs> Moving on. Raven... How does... How do you not know? William Shakespeare, for Christ's sake. Anywho, it's fine we all have our individual talents and challenges. So, is there a play? No, not yet. The play is in the spring. The auditions are on Monday. What play is it? We are performing a musical, the small place of purchase of frightening things. Do you intend to try out? Um, no. Then, if you'll excuse me, I should be going. Dang it! I would have loved to have been Raven's friend. It would have been the coolest thing ever. Oh. Here's to hoping Wolf Hall lets you do that, because I'll actually play as a man if they literally are like, you can be friend Raven in this game. Oh, what? 
<laughs> I'll literally be like, what? <laughs> you see me downloading it so quick. On well, Saturday morning, I get up and do the crap that I have to do to get my life in touch. Oh god, it's Gravener. What do you want from me, brother? Professor Gravener walks in while I'm sorting the piles. Good morning, sir. Miss Freeman, you may or may not be aware that there's still there will be two holidays celebrated la later this month, Valentine's Day and the Winter Renewal. Each set of class officers is expected to sell Valentines to the members of that class. I thought our fundraisers were usually about raising, taking money from people outside the school. In this case of purchase is of ritual significance. As class treasurer, it falls to you to decide the cost of your valentine's professor. Oh, wait, that was the weirdest thing. Like, the way it was coming out was so creepy. Alright, anyway. As class treasurer, it falls to you to decide the cost of the valentine's. Professor Crossfam will purchase supplies in keeping with your cost. Any excess funds will be donated to the winter ceremony. I don't even know what that is. What should a valentine cost? Jesus Christ, $20 for a valentine? I would probably- I would scream foul. Literally, probably run out of the building screaming the minute I saw that. Hmm. Trying to think. Twenty dollars is exorbitant. Like literally, literally exorbitant. Trying to think. One dollar is way too cheap. We can't expect to get any money from that. Five dollars is decent, but you have to wonder whether you could, if that'll even turn a profit or if anyone will even want to pay five dollars. I'm trying to think. From a very like when I I may be treasurer, but I'm trying to think about this as logically as possible. Cause if I was a real treasurer, I, this is the way I'd think about it. I'd at least try to decently dissect this to see what is just the more efficient way of working this around. I don't know why I'm sitting here talking to you about this still. <laughs> Anywho. My worry is that I'll do this and then find out that I messed up. That could be the literal stake in my heart because I found out that I did mess up and butcher the last uh crap I'm forgetting my brain melted really quickly I'm thinking again oh god I fried my brain again <laughs> I fried my brain I don't know how but I did anywho I keep frying my brain anywho over all this overthinking is insane. Five dollars should be sufficient. And my screen is like lagging a little bit. Hold on, let me exit out of some stuff. There, boom. All right, I suppose about five dollars is a good price. That's enough for something, some candy, and or something. Not t nothing tacky. All right, screen's still doing that. Whatever, we'll let it do that because you know what? I don't know how to fix it, and I don't feel like fixing it. And it's always a chore whenever something likes to go crazy and laggy on your computer. I've been playing The Sims 3 recently, and that's been the most annoying thing in my life. I have to work hard to figure out the specs so I can fix that. Let's save really quickly, just in case something wants to go crazy. Anywho, he leaves me to complete my rounds. Let's do that. After I deliver the mail, I'm free for the day. What should I do today? Okay, we fixed it. Oh, God. We have 22 stress, and I just now noticed it. All right. Let's see. Wouldn't kill us to study. So we're gonna study. <laughs> Instead of going to the mall and wasting my life. Let's study with Minnie. Awesome. Four stress. Jesus Christ. I ran into Donald in the halls. Where have you been all day? Detention. What again? Well, I didn't have anything better to do. It seems like a waste. Yeah. I don't know. It was fun for a while trying to keep this balance and make my legend, but now I'm just kind of sick of it. I built my rep so people would think of me as something, but if people think of me as that guy in trouble all the time, is that really better than nothing? You're a smart guy with a lot of talents. You could do something else. Like what? Well, have you considered the stage? Hmm. Raven set auditions for the spring play around Monday, and it's a musical, so it'd be good for you. Oh, are we really doing this? That's probably the weirdest thing I've seen in my life. And we're not doing the play? That's a we that's a new that is literally a new thing. Okay, let's see. That could be interesting. Are you going to try out? Heck no. In no way. That's all you. Well, we'll see. Anyway, I should get back to my hall. Later. Peace out, friendo. Anywho, I'm thinking about cutting this ep short after this week. Oh god, it's Minnie with her big old eyes and her brown hair and her thinking she's better than me. 
I don't know where I came up with that, even though she, I don't even know her like that. Hi, Annabelle, did you make arrangements for the Valentines? Yep, I mean, I made the decisions. I don't have them yet. When do we get them? Next week, next Monday, I think, we'll be doing the sales. Alright. Instead of going her... Okay, it's doing that thing again. All that construction. I can hear it. Instead of going on her way, she fidgets in place, looking down at her hemline, and then back up at me. Annabelle, can I ask you something? Sure, what's up? If someone says E... Wait, E? Oh, uh, 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 like the gender-neutral pronoun for this game? Okay. Says E loves you. Is it wrong not to love him back? Whoa, where did that come from? Just, you know, Valentine's Day. Ooh, we can cast that <laughs> Hold on. Hold that. Hold that thought. <laughs> Alright, is it wrong not to be able to tell somebody you love them? No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, from a very basic perspective, it's not wrong. What's the point of lying to someone and saying, oh, I love you, if you don't really love them? That's honestly worse in, my, in retrospect. Because then that person thinks that you have their heart, but in truth, you don't. Cast that empathy spell. <laughs> She's talking about me? Does she think? Oh, no that's the problem with picking certain choices you think there's something but there's something else like I swear there have been t okay I reach out with a touch of empathy to check her emotions confusion guilt fear not fear of rejection but fear of what are you doing no I'm trying to be sensitive well don't I'm sorry you're wild seed you don't know it's rude to cast a spell like that on a subversion without permission oh I'm doing it I didn't do what I wanted. Dang it. Go back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I wasn't happy with those results. <laughs> oh, God. I just wanted to see what would happen if I cast an empathy. Either way, let's give her some actual good advice. It's not wrong. Well, it's, well no. It's not wrong. You make some yourself love somebody. Wait, Emmett. You can't make somebody God. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this short soon. Alright, wouldn't you feel awful if you had to say no and break someone's heart? I guess it could be hard, but it would be worse to lie, I think. Uh, well, thanks. I should go. Alright. Bye, lady with the brown hair. Alright, so let's check our inventory. We got all this crap on. I can only imagine the damage you'd do to me if I took it all off. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's the diary say? Loves me, me, loves me. Seems to be fretting about Valentine's Day. Damn, dramatic. Blah, blah, blah. We've been doing a lot. This week actually was the most we've done in a week. Anywho, our spell book looks decent, and we're trying to get more red magic in there. Anywho, I think we will call it a part. Alright everyone, I'll see you guys next time in Let's Play Magical Diary part- Oh god, I think it's part 10. We're still nowhere near done. Jesus Christ. Anywho, this is Tomboy Gamer XL. Bye everybody!